the Diggers Banjo Patterson, Andrew Barton, bristling Billy the Porcupine, a person that nobody liked, sinking a shaft on an ant bed mine, came on a burrowing lizard's line, and the lizard was badly spiked. Amperson quo. You're a blundering fool, Amperson quo, said the snake's half-brother, and that was how one thing led to another. Weary Willy the Wombat King said he was champion excavator. But the bristler said, Amperson quo. You ain't no such thing. You couldn't dig up a new perdator. Amperson quo. So a match was made on their mining skill, bristling Billy and Weary Will. Both of the creatures were stout as steel, with knife-like claws that could dig forever. The wombat dug with the greater zeal, but he hadn't the style or the action clever of bristling Billy, who looked a winner till he struck some ants, and he stopped for dinner. Down where the ants had hid their young undergrounds in a secret tunnel, scooping them up with his sticky tongue into his mouth that was like a funnel, Amperson quo. Why should I dig for your wager's scanty, Amperson quo? said he, Amperson quo. When I'm feeling so full and ant why? Amperson quo. A kangaroo who has lost his cash was wild at this most absurd comeuppance. Amperson quo. Now listen, you poor ant eating trash. I'd give you a kick in the ribs for tuppence. Amperson quo. Amperson quo. Well, when I've finished with this here diet, Amperson quo. Said bristling Billy, Amperson quo. You come and try it. Amperson quo. Bristling Billy the porcupine, a person that nobody likes, wanders away on his lonely line, rattles his fearful spikes. Says he, Amperson quo. There's none of your long-haired squibs is game to give me a kick in the ribs. Amperson quo.